Well hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. My name's Peter Waters and my ham radio call sign is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. Uh, a few days ago I published a video about linear loading and this has prompted a question which I thought was quite interesting and certainly might uh, interest quite a few of you. The question was can I use linear loading on the G5RV? Well the answer is yes you can but let me let me run through it with you because perhaps I can highlight one or two things about making adjustments to the G5RV which will make it fairly simple for you and hopefully actually enable you to squeeze it into a garden which otherwise a G5 RV wouldn't fit into. And in fact you can use the same principle for the half size version. Now the G5 RV is a very popular antenna. It's the most popular ham radio antenna ever. It was originally conceived back in 1946 which makes it what? It's approaching 80 years and it's still popular. It's had its critics and I, I'm actually going to do a video about the G5RV in, in much more detail. It's had its had its critics but probably a lot of these criticisms are not really fair. The fact remains that it's still used by so many ham radio operators. It's effective, it's very low cost and if you can fit it into your garden it may be one of the antennas that you would like to try. So let's first take a look at the basic G5RV. Here you see a diagram, a line drawing of the G5RV as we all know it. Basically it's 102 foot long, that's using the values back in 1946 and it's fed with open wire or balance line, ladder line, whatever you like um, and that ladder line has to be a half wave long on the 20 meter band or if you're using the half size version of the 5RV which then has a top section resonant on the 10 meter band then that matching section has to be a half wave on the 10 meter band. So let's now have a look at the configuration of the G5RV and how you might fit it into a garden which otherwise wouldn't enable you to install it. Here we've got a sheet of paper and I'll draw you uh, the basic concept. We've got a basic dipole for the 5RV. It's, a half, it's three half waves in phase on 20 meters, which gives it 102 foot length. Sorry, it's in uh, imperial values, but uh, that's the way it was conceived. So we've got this top section, which is 102 foot long, and that's three half waves in phase. It's then fed with, fed with balanced line. Now this balanced line can be 450 ohm open wire feeder or 300 ohm feeder. The key is that that length of matching section should be a half wave on 20 metres and you need to allow for velocity factor. And here for your guidance is the stub lengths for 300 ohm ribbon or 450 ohm ladder line and these have been adjusted for the velocity factor. Now the fact that the 5RV is effectively resonant on the 20 meter band is very useful because it does enable you to actually check that you've got your measurements right. If you were to insert a uh, antenna analyzer at the center of the driven element you get a fairly low impedance, typically around about 90 ohms. Although it's quite away from 50 ohms, it wasn't so far away from 70 ohms, which is probably what Louis Varney would have been using back in 1946. But there is a somewhat easier way because the 450 ohm ladder line, the matching section, is actually a half wave length long on the 20 meter band. And a half wave length of uh, balanced feeder has the characteristic of repeating what it sees at the other end. So if it's seeing at that driven element a low impedance then it will also show a low impedance at the bottom of the feeder. So you can have the antenna up in the air, attach a ballon to it and then check it with your antenna analyzer or VSWR meter. Again you should see a resonance on 20 meters and if you haven't got the resonance quite on 20 meters then you can adjust it because you see the 5RV although it's actually 102 foot long in your garden that top section may not be quite the right length 
you may find that you need to shorten it a bit because of surrounding structures. If you in, if you use a, a G5 RV as an, in, uh, an inverted V, then you will certainly need to adjust it. So the main thing is get that top se section resonant on the 20 meter band and then you're ready to go. Now all we need to do is to fold the ends in using linear loading. And if you look at my previous video, I used 450 ohm ladder line. If you fold the ends back, you need to add some wire to it because if you if you if you fold the ends back, you'll find that actually the frequency will start to rise a bit. Instead of being resonant on 14 megahertz, you might find it's drifted up to 15 megahertz because you've folded the ends in. So you need to extend those ends and make them a bit longer. Best best thing is to make them longer than you 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 expect. Again, have a look at my previous video on linear loading. And you don't need to touch the matching section, that can stay the original length. It's just the driven element that you have to adjust. Well, there we are. A video on how to compress the G5 RV somewhat in order to fit it into the smaller garden compression. You can compress it by about 25%, I think, without any noticeable uh, deterioration in performance. And the advantage of linear loading is because you're not using a lump inductance, there's very little chance of it actually affecting the multiband performance. So I hope that uh, it's given you some ideas um, how to uh, uh, accommodate this very popular antenna. And of course, if you've got um, a really small garden and you're going to accommodate the uh, half size, then it will be even smaller. Uh, and don't forget, you can use it as an inverted V. The only thing is that because it's balanced line, that balanced line needs to be at least a metre away from metalwork, like a metal mast. Easy way to do that is simply offset it slightly so that uh, when you support the antenna as an inverted V, instead of supporting it right dead centre, move it about a metre one side. Then your uh, balance line will drop down a metre away from the metal mast and it'll be fine. So there we are, another tip. So thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for the support you give this channel. It's much appreciated. And uh, don't forget that um, down at Portsmouth we'll be happy to advise you, help you, and we do a few deals as well. Part exchange, by the way, we do a lot of part exchange. So um, if you've got something lurking in the cupboard that, uh, well, <laughs> when I say lurking in the cupboard, we're talking about radio, of course. If you've got something lurking in the cupboard and you think you might want to dispose of it, well, give us a call and we'll see if we can help you out. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. You take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.